Hi, I'm Kate Beal, and welcome back to Mouse Clicks TV Rebooted. I'm talking with Marcus. We're talking about the Apple. Yes, ma'am. So one of the other things I like is the tight integration of the operating system. Mm -hmm. I'm still on Leopard. I haven't moved up to Snow Leopard yet. There are certain programs that require me to kind of stay back. Stay with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm a little shy about upgrading. You are. Yeah, but it's a sweet looking operating system. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything else, so it just came with my <laughs> Mac Mini that I got, so. Sure, but um, one of the things I like, if you're in the mail program and you type somebody's name, it automatically comes up with their email address. If you have a nickname for them, right. it'll know it'll throughout know. the whole system. So if you're in another program mm -hmm. that needs somebody's name, you can just automatically type it up. And it's right there. Yeah, it's system-wide. Um, Things like uh, iTunes and iPhoto, mm -hmm. they're integrated. If you want to make a slideshow or something like that, mm -hmm. you just say, pull up my iTunes library, and mm -hmm. it's all right there. Mm -hmm. They've gone the extra step in making sure the software mm -hmm. works together just as much as the hardware and the software right. go together. Mm -hmm. Now, I have, I have an issue with iTunes and syncing it. Okay. I think their syncing ha leaves a little bit to be desired. Really? Do you? No, no, no. Um, In other words, if I want my songs, some of my songs to be on there, I don't really have a, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to just pick certain songs to go on, like my iPhone from iTunes and keep them synced. I kind of do it a, a different way. I have a, a, a small folder that I just load all my songs into that folder. And then you just sync and that folder. I just sync that folder. So okay. everything is synced from there. I also have a couple of other folders that have uh, like automatic playlists mm -hmm. that go through and they look at the what genius. was the last. Th no, no. Oh, not it's, genius. It's, it's, I'm my own genius. Oh, you're your <laughs> yeah, own, genius, own genius, of course. Yeah. Um, it looks at things that I haven't listened to and it pulls those oh. into that folder and it syncs that way. That way I always have something fresh along with the stuff that I've picked also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And okay. later on, I'll definitely be doing some tutorials on how to set up your iTunes to kind of customize it to make it do some cool things. Right, okay. I think the last thing uh, is virus protection. I know right. we've heard a lot about, you know, Macs don't get viruses. And is that true, that they really don't get viruses? Pretty much it's true. Uh, one of the reasons, it's kind of it's kind of lame, but there are less Macs in the world than there are Windows. And so the guys that are building the viruses are not really going to go after that because it's not a big enough hit. Right. But the other, the biggest thing is it's built under Unix. If somebody wants to do something on your computer, you have to actually let them do it. So if you want to install something, you have to say, yes, install this. This is my password. Right. So people do get viruses, but not much. Not much. If you get a virus, it's probably your own fault for saying, yes, yeah, install go ahead this install program this. that I don't know. I don't know where it came from. Right. All right. So I had somebody ask me a question recently on why are Macs so expensive, and I have to admit, Yes, they are a little expensive. Um, right. They're a little expensive, and that's kind of the way it However, is. However, when I bought mine, the girl that I was talking to, I ordered it online on the phone through Apple Direct, mm -hmm. and they were, she was saying, you know, now let's build this because we want you to, we want this computer to last 10 years. Sure. Now, you couldn't ever find a PC salesman that's going to tell you your PC is going to last for that's, 10 years. That's exactly right. My last iBook G4, I had it for close to 10 years before I felt like, I needed a new computer, mm -hmm. and it never broke. Um, right. Yeah. You could probably the, still use it today. I could still use it today if I didn't have exactly. the Pro. Exactly. That's right. Um, they're built with better materials mm -hmm. a lot of the mm -hmm. times. The OS is solid. They support the OS for yeah. older computers. So up until Snow Leopard is the cutoff for the support of the older computers. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Marcus. We're going to wrap up this segment on the Apple, but you'll be back. We'll both be back. Sure. If You're you guys listening. want to get me, you can uh, hit me at my email, 
Marcus at MouseClicksTV.com yep. or at- follow me on Twitter, Extra Large, XL Mac Pro. Yeah, on Twitter. XL so. Mac Pro on Twitter. Okay, thank you. You're watching Mouse Clicks TV Rebooted. Thank you.